What's going on guys? If you didn't know, my name is Odiced, and on this channel I'm usually doing covers and other music related videos, but today I wanted to take a second to share a little bit of something that's been going on in my life recently. As you may have noticed, I am in two slings. About two weeks ago, I was involved in a mountain biking accident in Arizona. Now I say mountain biking accident because that sounds way cooler than I was going too fast and fell off my bike. Well, I ended up fracturing both my elbows and separating my right shoulder. And I've gotten a lot of questions from people recently like, what happened? How did you do that? So I just kind of wanted to take a second to address what actually happened. So I was in Arizona with a couple of other students from my college. We were leading worship at a conference slash fundraiser and we had the afternoon off. So we decided to go mountain biking. Now long story short, I was going a lot faster than I was comfortable with. And I was following the guy in front of me too closely. So as we were riding, it was only about five minutes into the trip. We came up on this little dip. I say dip, but it felt kind of like a cliff, um, but it was more of just like this little ditch in the path that we were going. Um, and the guy in front of me hit his brakes um, as he should have. And like I said, I was following him too closely and I swerved as to not hit him. I did kind of a, a ramp up move and then flung over my bike and went down said ditch and the bike ended up landing on top of me. And uh, yeah, that's how I acquired these injuries. <laughs> so here I am two weeks later, the doctor said this was the best injury that I could have gotten um, with all things considered and the recovery time is relatively short. But the whole situation has gotten me thinking the last couple of days, what if the injuries were much worse? What if I walked away paralyzed or couldn't move my arms or my legs ever again? Uh, the whole situation has just kind of given me a different perspective on how I spend my time and where I find my value and worth. And it's, it's been really eye-opening. Now, most of you hopefully know that I am a musician. So having the ability to move my arms to play instruments is a huge part of what I do on a daily basis. And having that taken away from me the last two weeks and weeks to come has been very difficult. Um, but it's also been very eye-opening. Now, I've had a great group of people that have helped me with the day-to-day -day things, carrying my stuff and helping me get stuff. So it's been, it's been a really good recovery process so far and uh, looking forward to using my arms again. Now, with that said, you probably won't be seeing any traditional cover style videos from me over the next couple of weeks until I can use my arms again. But I am gonna be experimenting with some different things that I can do my hands maybe um and something to look forward to in the future once i do have my arms back is uh i'm, I'm gonna be stepping my video game up quite a bit i i got some really cool ideas and i feel weird saying this but i feel like i've been inspired while i've been uh incapacitated to a certain extent um so be on the lookout for some some higher quality videos and content coming from me thanks for watching guys and if you haven't seen my latest cover that i did with my girlfriend before the injury, you should definitely check that out. Thanks, guys.